Girls Coach Neek here, and today we're talking about MK677. Now, if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me now. It's coach.neek. I've had a lot of requests over there for this particular topic. So if you want to know about something, go to Instagram, follow me, ask me over DMs or comment on a post. I put loads of free content over there. I don't really post meanless shit. It's all about education, pet education, and trying to basically upskill the community. So MK677, what exactly is it and why do you use it? Simply put, MK is a growth hormone secretagog and it mimics the non-peptide hormone ghrelin. Ghrelin is a hunger hormone which plays a very large role in hunger signaling. It's why, sorry my dog, that's why oftentimes guys will take MK who are hard gainers, guys who want to get more food in their system because they're not, they don't feel like they're able to eat enough. And I want to go through why that's not necessarily a good idea, at least not through chronic use, aka for long time usage, long periods of usage. In fact, let's, let's start off with that. The reason why you don't want to be using MK long term is because it re, it raises your uh, blood serum glucose chronically. It will keep your IGF level, IGF-1 levels elevated for long periods of time, which will lead to insulin resistance. Now, the less receptive your insulin receptors are, the worse your body composition outcome is going to be. You're going to be storing more fat. You're going to be feeling more sluggish. You're not going to be feeling very good. You're not going to get as much energy into your workouts. Uh, and like I said, generally your body composition is going to be worse. So you're not really getting the outcome which you set out to get. But that only happens over a period of time. It can happen as short as five days if you're really messing up your protocols. Or it can happen, you know, it could take four weeks. It all depends on your lifestyle, your dietary choices, and how you're also utilizing the compound. For example, because MK677 releases, well, it stimulates growth hormone, which then stimulates production of IGF-1. By doing this, you're essentially creating a whole bunch of free fatty acids flowing through your body, uh, which can then lead to the insulin resistance. If you then combine that with a carbohydrate heavy meal or saturated fat heavy meal, you're then increasing these levels of free fatty acids floating through your body, which then can further, it can further compound the issue at hand here and lead to the insulin resistance. So getting a blood glucose measuring uh, machine is essential. They're very cheap, they're like 30 pounds from Amazon. And I feel like if you're gonna be using MK, 30 pounds to measure your blood glucose is marginal, it's nothing. You should be able to afford that if you're buying MK677. The best way to do this to before you start MK in the first place is to get a baseline reading over a couple of days. You want to do fasted upon waking. You want to do postprandial right after eating. One second, my dog. What about that? And we're back. Uh, I uh, can't film inside because my house hasn't got space to do it. Uh, I live in a small stone cottage and I saw a fox running past. I need to make sure my chickens were okay. They're okay. So back to the video. Um, we're talking about measuring your blood glucose. So you need to do it first thing in the morning when you fasted, and I would then do it again after your midday meal, post preandral, which basically means you eat, you jab, what's your blood sugar look like? And then again, once before, right before bed, I wanna see you again. And I'll do that for a couple of days and chart it to get an idea where your baseline's at. And then measure it every two days at least to actually get an idea of how your blood sugar is being affected by MK, because it will be affected. I promise you it will be affected. There are things you can do to decrease how bad the effect is. You can use like berberine or metformin to try and blunt uh, your, basically your blood sugar levels and try and keep your insulin receptors a bit more fresh, a bit more active. So you won't get the side effects as badly. Those, those, I think those are often underlooked and quite important vectors. Um, to continue running these substances. That includes a straight up growth hormone or other kind of secretagogues. Okay, but this sort of ties into the side effect of the uh, ghrelin mimicking because I see quite a lot of guys, they hear like, oh, I can stimulate growth hormone. And I know that having increased growth hormone levels uh, and you know subsequently increased IGF-1 levels can be beneficial for fat loss if I take it fasted like in the morning. So they'll take a MK in the morning, fasted, and then they will, you know, well, like I said, the half-life is six hours. So this doesn't really work. But they then hop on the bike or they go, you know, work out, free workout, essentially. And they think they're getting increased fat loss. They think they're going to basically increase hypertrophy and build muscle. 
and that's not really the case it's not really how it works you're going to get maybe a little bit more igf than you would do normally so you might you might burn a bit more fat and energy doing it that way but it's marginal and unless you're doing like hardcore intermittent fasting and you say you take mk six o'clock in the morning and then you then go work out at three o'clock fasted and do cardio fasted at that peak serum level then you're not really you're not really getting the benefits you want from it like yeah you're gonna have nicer skin and you can get nicer hair by doing that not beard hair and just hair in general but you'd get the same effects by doing it nighttime as well so it doesn't make sense doing in the morning because irregardless irregardless of that mk is going to stimulate your hunger so you're going to take it in the morning going like all right yeah Increase IGF, I'm going to go work out in five hours, four hours, six hours, and I'm going to make the most out of my now peaked IGF-1 during the day. But you're completely forgetting how bloody hungry you're going to be. You're going to be ravenous. You're going to want to shove food down your face really badly, which is then going to completely blunt all the you know benefits which you're taking it for during the day. So that doesn't make sense either. Unless you're actually taking it to heat and like you are so bad at putting food in your mouth that you need a drug to stimulate the hunger, then yes, I can understand the reasoning behind that. But the increased hunger is going to lead to poor dietary choices. You're not going to eat as intelligently. You're not going to eat, you know, good foods essentially, which is then going to stop you being able to run the MK for as long because your blood sugar is going to go up like say above 100 milligrams per uh, nanoliter so in my ebooks it's not really the way to go it doesn't make sense bodybuilding naturally and enhanced is a marathon not a sprint and MK you can't run for long periods of time so it then becomes a sprint anything run for just five days or oh, a month is a sprint in terms of bodybuilding. You know, modern day cycles can run for as long as six months these days. What's a single month? I don't rate MK for hard gainers, for guys who struggle to put on mass. If you are going to do it, monitor your blood sugar. Get get a blood sugar machine from Amazon. They're only 30 quid. They'll last you for quite a long time. The packs of Lancers are very cheap, as well as the testing strips. So just do yourself a favor, look after your health. The last thing you want to do is become insulin resistant and mess up all your progress. The other thing you should be doing is looking into glucose disposal agents. So like I said, berberine and metformin. Look into those if you're going to run MK677 because really they're quite important to be using. There are some concerns with ghrelin that it can cross the blood-brain barrier and promote uh, neurological issues and diseases later down the line. That hasn't really been further elucidated in the literature. It's still being researched and still going through the clinical trials. So I can't really say definitively whether or not that happens or not and what the risk factors are. I, I simply don't know. We don't know as a community. The scientific community doesn't know. So I can't really offer any remedial or protective actions around that issue. But it's something to be aware of that MK could, could increase the risk of these neurological issues. Um... Okay, moving on to more of the IGF factor again. So I think I said this before, I lost my train of thought when the fox ran past. But it's got a six hour half-life. You want to be taking it fasted. Well, not fasted, away from a meal. Ideally two hours or so after a meal before bed, right before bed. So you can promote your natural growth hormone secretion at nighttime during your REM sleep, your rapid eye movement portion of your sleep you know, around three to four hours after sleeping, one o'clock to three o'clock. By doing that, you're going to increase the serum amount of IGF in your body. Your fasting glucose levels are going to be down, so you're not going to get insulin resistance as fast. You're going to be able to run it for longer. You will get the benefits of having increased IGF in your body. You know, like I said, your skin's going to be nicer. Your eyes are going to be clearer. You're, you're going to potentially have nicer looking hair. All those things can happen. There's also potential that you could get better body compositions during nighttime usage of MK. But again, it's heavily dependent on your diet during the day. Heavily dependent on during the day. It's also worth noting that if you say you take it, let's say you take it at 12 o'clock at night, just for easy calculations, and it's got a six hour half-life. 
two half lives to go by, it's 12 hours. So now you've got a quarter of the amount in your system. It's still going to be acting on your body and giving you higher IGF levels than you would do otherwise at that time of night. Well, oh, that time of morning at this point. Um, or day even. So that is why even if you're taking it intelligently before bed whilst you're fasted to complement and supplement your natural growth hormone secretion, you're still going to get blood sugar issues over a period of time. Because unless you are being incredibly anal around your blood glucose levels and monitoring them before you eat and waiting for them to come down before you eat you will over time start to cause yourself some level of insulin resistance and i think this is an important important part people should uh, you know keep in mind and remember um, another issue which i will probably get crucified unless i bring it up is the potential to potent potentiate gynecomastia development um, MK677 has been known to increase or cause gynecomastia uh, in people. In anecdotal and, I guess, semi-professional point of view, it generally only happens with those who already have gynecomastia. Uh, I haven't seen it in someone who has never had gyno before and 100% doesn't have gyno, and then it comes on. Usually they already have pre-pubertal -pre gynecomastia or they have it... Uh, it's come on during cycle and it's gotten worse with the addition of MK. So if you are prone to gyno, have gyno, or think you might have gyno, I would hazard you from taking MK because reversing gyno is a pain, massive pain. You have to have either surgery, leverage serms, potentially use a topical DHT. These things are quite hard to deal with. And if you can avoid getting gyno, I would. Uh, it's a... Uh, yeah, it causes you quite long-term issues down down the line. Um, I think that's it for this video. If I have missed anything, comment down below. Uh, we can have a discussion about it and you know bring more information you know to light. But that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below any thoughts, any questions. I'm still getting used to these long-form uh, videos, especially ones where I don't cut and check my notes and make sure I haven't missed anything. I guess I'm trying to do like a Derek-esque video. Um, but irregardless, we're moving. Hopefully get better at these over the future. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Pop me a like, subscribe, bell notification, all that good stuff. Share. Follow me on Instagram. Talk later. Peace.